and in this video we are going to make upgraded surveillance camera car with pan tilt control. Using this pan tilt assembly we can rotate the camera horizontally and vertically from 0 to 180 degrees. We will capture images using ESP32 camera module and send these images to our mobile phone using WebSocket through Wi-Fi connection. We will control car using our own mobile app. So let's get started and make this car. We will need following components. ESP32 cam module Pan tilt servo assembly SG90 servo motors We will need two motors 4WD car kit This car kit comes with car chassis 4TT gear motors Wheels Connectors and screws we will also need L2988 motor driver module, UBC or buck converter to provide 5V to servos, 7 to 12V DC rechargeable battery, in our case LiPo 2S battery, Arduino Uno for uploading code, double sided tape and few jumper wires. Let's first assemble the pan tilt bracket and fix servos. Let's assemble the car now. First let's solder wires to gear motors. Mount all 4 motors on car chassis using connectors and screws. Now attach both the car chassis plate using screws and make sure that it is tightened properly so that we don't have any loose part. Join red to red and black to black wires of DC motors on each side. Attach L2988 motor driver module on car chassis now. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Connect right side motors to out 1 and out 2 pins of L2988 motor driver module. Now connect left side motors to out 3 and out 4 pins of motor driver module. Now connect L2988 motor driver module to ESP32 cam pins as per table. Connect both enable A and enable B pins to IO02 pins of ESP32 cam. We will take plus 5 volt and ground from L2988 motor driver module and provide to ESP32 cam module. Fix ESP32 camera module on bracket now. Mount pan tilt assembly on car chassis now. Connect pan servo and tilt servo to IO14 and IO15 respectively. Connect UBC to battery supply and provide plus 5 volt and ground to servos. Attach DC battery power connectors to motor driver module to plus 12 volt pin and ground pin. Attach wheels to car now. Let's take a quick look at the code. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, then go to preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools and then board manager and search for ESP32 and install it. After that we need to install the async TCP and async web server library. Download these libraries from the links provided in the description below. Once downloaded go to sketch. 
include library and then click on add zip file. Select the downloaded zip library file and click add. Similarly add a sync web server library as well. Now we need to set one parameter which is very important step so that video runs smoothly. Go inside your sketch folder then libraries folder. Search for ESP async web server folder and then go inside src folder. Open async websocket.h file and change ws max queued messages to 1 for our ESP32 board and save it. Now we need to install ESP32 servo library as well for controlling servo motors. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for ESP32 servo and install it. Now we need to include the ESP underscore camera, async TCP library and async web server library. Also we need to include ESP32 servo library as well. After that define pan and tilt servo pins as IO14 and IO15. We have created objects for pan and tilt servos. We no longer need to create any dummy servos because of timer issues. I have figured that issue and sort it out by changing timer used by camera settings. We have assigned the right and left motor pins. We will use single IO2 pin for enable A and enable B pins of motor driver module. Then we have defined light pin as IO4. We have defined some constant for car movements. We have set PWM frequency resolution and channels for speed and light. We have defined some settings related to camera. We need to set the SSID and password for our ESP32 Wi-Fi. We have created web server at port number 80. We will be using WebSocket for camera and servo input control. Then we have created HTML page for our car control app and stored it in HTML homepage variable. This is the main page which will be displayed on mobile. It has image section to display the video and also has all buttons to control the car. When any control button is pressed on mobile, it will send particular number to ESP32 using WebSocket. We have created WebSocket to display the image sent from the car. We have created rotate motor function which takes motor number and direction as arguments. It will rotate motor in forward or backward direction. Then we have move car function which will take command like up, down, left, right, stop and move the car accordingly. We have handle root function which will send the HTML page when we type IP address on mobile browser. We have on car input websocket event callback function which will be called when ESP32 receives any command from mobile. If received control is move car then we will call move car function. If received control is speed then we will set the car speed. If received control is light then we will set the flash. If received control is pan or tilt then we will move the servos accordingly. We have on camera websocket event callback function which will be called when we get request for video stream. Once connected we will set the client ID. We have created setup camera function to init the camera. Then we have created send camera picture function which will capture the image and send it to camera websocket client. We have created setup pin mode function to set up the servos. It will attach servo pins to servo objects. It will also set the motor pins as output. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. Then begin Wi-Fi using soft AP mode. Setup callback function on root and on not found. Then attach the websocket handler to web server. Now begin the Wi-Fi server. Also set up the camera. Inside loop function we just need to call cleanup client function to clean up old client connections. We will also capture and send the camera images. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. In our case we will use Arduino Uno for uploading the code. Now let's upload the code. ESP32 CAM module does not have USB connector. So we need to use external programmer for uploading the code. In our case we will use Arduino Uno as programmer. You can use any other USB to UART programmer. Let's connect ESP32 CAM to Arduino Uno as per circuit diagram. Place ESP32 CAM module on breadboard. Connect RX and TX pins to ESP32 CAMs VOR and VOT pins. Provide 5V and ground from Arduino Uno. Arduino's reset pin should be connected to ground at this point. IO0 pin of ESP32 should be connected to ground. Connect Arduino to laptop using USB cable. Now select board as ESP32 rover module. Select upload speed, flash frequency and flash mode and finally partition scheme as huge app. Select port and hit upload. If uploading fails then reconnect the USB cable to laptop and try again. Connect battery to car now. Let's open mobile app now. Go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to my Wi-Fi car SSID using password as 12345678.
ओपन गूगल क्रोम ब्राउजर ऑन मोबाइल एंड टाइप वन इट विल ओपन अवर कैमरा कार कंट्रोल एप समाइम्स वी माइट हैव टू रिकनेक्ट द वाई फाई इफ एप डज नॉट ओपन दैट्स इट लेट सी हाउ इट वर्क We need to remember some important points. We need to set WS Max queued messages to one, otherwise the video will be very slow. If video is not displayed on the app, then reconnect the Wi-Fi on mobile. Do not connect IO 16 pin of ESP32 CAM. It is used internally by PSRAM. If uploading of port fails, then try after reconnecting USB cable to laptop. Make sure to provide separate 5 volt DC supply to servos. The power supply should have more than 2 ampere current. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.